Hey guys, it's Cap PJ. I hope you're having a good day. And um, I I I, I just like work. I, I mean, I didn't wake up. I'm up, right? It's currently um 12 a.m. right now. Let me grab my phone and show you. It's 12 a.m. <clears throat> Great, can't even see, but it is 12 a.m. And um, bro, I just. I had a bit of a tug here, yeah. after my tug, if you know what I mean, I, I had this like weird, like this feeling, I always have this feeling, with, it's, this is all about OKC, let's just get this straight off my chest, this is all about the OKC Thunder, Oklahoma City Thunder, I am a mega fan of the OKC Thunder, and um, I just, I just visioned myself at an OKC game. I just thought about it and I, I just got so happy, bro. Bro, the feeling I got, I can't explain the feeling. Like, this is just a random team, yeah. This is just a random team that has no idea I exist. But I love them so much. I love the OKC Thunder. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this right here. I'm gonna go to an OKC game one day, man. That is my dream. That I feel like I was born just to go to an OKC game. I feel like that's my purpose. I feel like I finally found my purpose and it's just OKC. Like I'm I like look at this, bro. I'm I kid you not, look at this. I'm looking at flights. Okay, look, can this focus? God damn, bro, why is this oh here we go. Look at this. I was checking flight. why is it three grand though to go to OKC? That's just because it's really close, 21st of April. But it's about one thousand eight hundred to three thousand dollars, and it's so, it costs so much. So I'm gonna need to somehow I'm gonna need to somehow make money by like obviously I won't be able to go to OKC this year. I wouldn't. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, I mean I could if we maybe make the second round. I could go and just. Because I, I have some savings I could put into that. But it would... Bro, I was checking the tickets. The tickets cost, to get some good seats, about $700. So, in total, like, if I do go to OKC, it would be, like, six grand. I reckon I'd be spending about six grand. Um, so, I reckon... Oh, my goal is for next year, man. Bro, I just love OKC. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. I was actually going to tear up just thinking about it because... We made the playoffs, right? And like this season has genuinely been one of the most craziest seasons as an OKC fan. If you're an OKC fan, you know, like, we weren't supposed to be here, man. We are the number one seed, bro. How are we the number one seed? We have Shea, Chet, J, Dub, J, Will, bro. I love our team, bro. I love our team so much. So I need to go to an OKC game bad, man. I need to go to an OKC game bad. Oh. Bro, I just like, I was just envisioning it and it felt like I just pictured myself there in the stands watching, I don't know, J Dub throw a lob to Chet and me screaming, going, Yes! You know? <sighs> Man. I don't even know why. Like, I feel like I was just born for OKC, bro. I can't even explain. Like, this is the only so source of motivation I have. I have no motivation, bro, for nothing. I don't care about money. I don't care about nothing, bro, except OKC. How crazy is that? Why is my brain thinking like that, you know? Why is my brain thinking like that? My only source of motivation is OKC. A team, just a basketball team, bro. The players on that team as well, though. I feel like the players on that team make a massive difference. Like, it's just that bond they have. I just love it so much, man. Bro, I, I'm just so happy. We made the playoffs. <laughs> we made the playoffs. <laughs> Bro, and like also, do you know what's kind of crazy? Oh, I don't know if I should say this on cam for everyone to hear, bro. I don't know. But I'll say it in this way. I literally stopped my life for OKC. This sounds bad. This sounds a bit like bad, but like I schedule my life around OKC. 
Like, if there's a game on, I drop everything for the game. I watched... I think I watched every single game this season, guys. From Chet's game-tying uh, three at the Warriors in Oracle Arena, or whatever, the Chase Center Arena, whatever the new name is, to Shea's game-winner in Denver, that comeback in Denver. Man, all, I've watched... I think I've actually watched every game, man. Uh, I just needed to do a bit of a cut because I think my camera was going to die. But uh, I love OKC so much. I want to go to OKC so bad, man. Like, I had the... I honestly was going to press buy on those tickets, bro. I honestly was going to press that buy to hold myself back because, you know, we ain't there yet financially, bro. I mean, I could. I could, but then I would be like dead broke. I would be broke. And then, yeah, so it's probably not the smartest decision, but I need to buy next year, go to OKC, where I won't be satisfied. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I feel like I needed to say all that. It was just all like, all that feeling I just said to you. Like, I just built it up to the camera. I just needed to say that. How did I... It's just, you know what blows my mind is, how do I have so much love for this team? You know, I have so much love for this team. Like, and I don't even, like, I genuinely don't care about anything else. Like, obviously, you know, like, I care about things. But this is the only thing that gives me motivation to even live. Like, like, like what? Like what? How? How? A group of NBA players give me the will to live. I've never, like, this is real raw passion. I feel like this is, I'm usually, I, I just have pure passion for this team, man. Bro, I'm gonna cry, bro. Bro. Bro, I... I will go to an OKC game. I will, bro. I have to. I can just imagine it, the feeling. Aaron Anton, you're an OKC fan. We're going, bro. I probably shouldn't have said your full name on YouTube, but it's alright. Aaron, we're going to OKC, man. We are. <sighs> man. Bro, why am I getting emotional, bro? Why am I getting emotional? We made the playoffs. But you know what's crazy as well? I think I talked about this in other videos, but when OKC loses, like if we have a bad game and we lose, my mood changes for the day. Like it's it's crazy. It's like a dagger. It's like a dagger in the heart, especially because we're competing this season. Like the losses, I felt it, bro. It's like pain. And then the rest of the day, I can't concentrate because I'm just like, damn, we lost. Like, damn, we lost. So it's like my life is literally okay, see, bro. You know what my dream would be? My dream would be to just live in OKC and watch 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 every single game. Like just watch every single game for the rest of my life. I honestly would want that so bad. That's what I want. That's actually what I want, bro. Watch every single game in OKC and then in the off season, I don't know. I don't know what I do, but I do something. <sighs> Bro, this Shay, I love you. Like you've you've saved our organization, bro, since the day we got you. Chet, you changed us this year. J Dub, I can't say enough about J Dub, man. He really has surprised me. Kaysen Wallace, what a solid rookie. Josh Giddy has his ups and downs, but you know, he's still here. I love J Will. J Will's vibes are so good. J Will has such good vibes. Anyway, I think that's enough ranting by me, bro. That's enough ranting by me. I'm just a crazy OKC mega fan that wants to go to OKC. Oh, one day.